We've made a small tweak to the CAN adapter. The CAN adapter is generally used to extend our network range up into the range of kilometers. So if you have a large layout, typically outdoor, then you'll be familiar with the CAN adapters. The 1.3 version here has a connector for you to attach termination resistors such as this. CAN network uses 120 ohm resistors and you would normally attach that to the adapter at either end of your layout. The change we've made to the 1.4 is we've built the resistor in and all you need to do is add the supplied jumper, clip it on and if it's the end of your network then it's automatically terminated with that. So it's a small usability enhancement but every time I seem to need one I can't find the resistor because I've misplaced it. Now you simply have the termination on or just store it on one of the terminals for the termination off. Let's see it working now. Here you can see I've wired a pair of CAN adapters to two multi-panels, the 2.1 and the older 1.7. And you can see through the CAN adapter I have the twisted pair cable here, the latest CAN adapter version 1.4 and an older version 1.3 here. And as I press buttons on one multi-panel you could see them being transmitted through the CAN network to the second multi-panel. It's a bi-directional connection but I think the addition of the termination resistor here with a simple jumper just represents a, a usability improvement. Thanks for watching.